few weeks ago. <sighs> you could have at least knocked, Morrison. Yeah, I could have. I got some good news and some bad news. Uh, audiobooks. Pick your poison. Which you want to hear first? You guys giving me too much credit. <sighs> Just speak. Bad news it is. Lady Patty's feathers are all ruffled. See, she wants to invite you to her birthday party, but your phone <clears throat> is disconnected. <laughs> You're a smart one, Morrison. You notice the electric and water out too? I expected nothing less. <laughs> so what's the good news? Oh, I got a gig. Cash up front. Cash up front? This I like. The water needs turning on and those toilets need flushing. Water, gas, and power <laughs> coming out of your cut. You're a real agency now. Well, you're the one that's watching other people play video games. I mean, <sighs> who's the nerd? Devil may cry. Okay, Morrison, I'll take you up on that gig, but only that's gay. It's different. That hellish birthday party. Fair enough. <laughs> Consider your RSVP declined. Meet your new client. Listen, uh, I'm gonna find a lady and Trish. Bring him in on this. What? Come on! You don't think I can handle this gig on my own? It's a big job. Big job, Dante. You're gonna need the help. So, what's your name? I have no name. I am but two days old. Just kidding. You can call me V. Okay, V. Why don't you tell me everything about this job? A powerful demon is about to resurrect and... We need your help, Dante. <laughs> now that's a familiar tune. Do you have any idea how many times I've heard that exact same line? This is special. Special? Okay. So what's so special about this one? This demon is your reason. I see smoke, but I think that's more of a fog effect. Your reason for fighting. This demon got a name? Fog, fog effects from the GPU. <laughs> oh, we're playing as V now. Mission 9, Genesis. I'd sing a Genesis song, but I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still going, somehow. Went into the uh, Nvidia app the other day, uh, the other day, and auto-tuned it. Not like a song, but like auto-tuned it. It's uh, set. I just did the enabled the auto-tuning, so it like has the uh, power voltage settings set to whatever it's recommended. But yeah, surprisingly, it hasn't crashed yet. You know, touch wood. Uh, and I'm playing the game at 120 FPS and streaming at 60, and the stream looks to be working fine. It isn't choppy like I, like you know previous games where I would try and do 30 FPS, a uh, high FPS with a 60 FPS stream. But that being said, we're also not playing this game in ultra wide. I could have modded this game to be ultra wide, but I've got it set up where I can just switch between profiles at a push of a button. So anything that's 16 by 9, I can go and all that stuff. And hell, even for like, maybe for like PS1 games or certain games, I could do a 4 by 3 profile. I don't know. Alright. 
Planes V, let's customize, let's see if we've got any more spells to buy. Okay, not really got much choice here, have we? That's good. So I'm kind of looking. I'm like I'm liking the new look of the stream. I'm not sure about the webcam. Uh, I mean, I like the where the webcam is. Uh, the mic is a bit intrusive, but it's at least at least it's not blocking my face. But I feel like the mic being here is a bit distracting. So who knows? Maybe I'll change my microphone to a shotgun mic at some point when I've got some money. So I could just like aim it off from off street off screen. As for uh, the actual widget and positioning, oh sorry. Uh, as for the look of it, maybe I'll. I don't know if I want to go back to having it like tilted to the side, like I've like I've had before. Oh what. I'll just have it like flat on a 2D plane. So maybe I'm thinking like maybe the, the, the less special effects I have on screen, you know, the better, the more the more stable it is. Because even though the the chat having the the chat and the uh, and the webcam being at an angle, like the webcam feed in the bottom right hand. Yeah, I don't know why I changed it to bottom left because I remember I set it to the right side. Like I remember it, at first it was like middle left, and then it was like I think like it, when you're looking at thumbnails on Twitch, I think you have like the view count in, in, the, in the top left and the uh, and the something else at the bottom right or something like that. So it looked so I don't know. I'm not too, I'm not too, too sure about the on-screen chat yet though. Like it's in, I've moved it to the bottom corner, but you know, who knows? Maybe I'll, I, but you know, the whole, the main reason why I have the on-screen chat is in case people are watching this on YouTube or on a VOD in a, at a later date. And you know, I'm obviously responding to people, but if they can't see the chat, then it's, you know, it's kind of a weird one. I mean, maybe I'll have it, have the, I think I might put the chat on, Set the settings for the chat to be on screen for a little bit longer, maybe. Alright, mission start with Stalin. Gonna play uh, Adam Driver with a car set. Time we on, 20 to 11. I think I'll maybe do one, I think I'll do two more levels and then call it a stream. We keep going. The Devil Sword Sparta is nearby. Hmm. It's coming from the Clyphod's roots. Backtrack and see if we got anything more. We. Can we just run past everything? Yeah, that's why I've got that minimal, like, rotating feed at the bottom. Because it's like, you know, you don't need to have a permanent... You know, the last, you know, last follower, recent raid, recent so but like malarkey you don't you know recent bits like you don't need all four of them on the screen at once especially if like you know you don't have someone doing that very often
damn it. That fucking big ass golem isn't doing sh fuck all. Damn it, I hate cleaver dudes. I mean, it's like, at least I'm not doing the, the whole gimmick where I have a massive, like, frame and border with, like, on screen chat, socials, and all that malarkey. I remember, like, when I started streaming again on Twitch, like, back in 2020, and you could probably find this on some of the old Mass Effect 3 videos. But I had. I, I, I remember all I had was, like, a watermark in the top corner just, sh just showing my Twitch and YouTube. Uh, links and then maybe an on-screen chat and that was before I started using a webcam okay I think this looks like we're the way to go so I want to go back and explore Do we have to like destroy the wall or something before we can get that golden thing? Whatever, I don't need it. I know. I just like I just like to try and make the streams as interactive and as fun looking, but as po as fun as possible. But also try and have a minimalist look. Hence the gimmicky uh, channel point redemptions. You almost bought it. It actually does look pretty good, but like I said, I've got too many games. So I got paid, uh, to, well, today, yesterday. So I guess today, it's still 25th for me. I got paid, so I guess I could buy stuff now if I wanted to. I ended up paying a bit of credit card stuff off and I actually ordered <laughs> I ordered a uh, bed topper memory foam bed topper because uh, lately it just feels like I've been waking up from a car accident you know my back is completely fucked like getting to sleep is, is easy enough but waking up and being and feeling like Feeling like I'm in pe agony, pretty bad. So, hopefully this uh, hopefully the uh, what the fucker could have got triple S if this guy actually turned up. 
at a more reasonable time. I only took bike to support the company. Oh, you mean Games Workshop? That struggling indie indie company. I, I, I can I can respect that. Watch them like fucking patch the game and nerf everything like they did with Hell Divers, which apparently they buffed everything in Hell Divers again. But I know I tried playing Hell Divers the other other day and uh, I know I wasn't paying much much attention because I was literally streaming Hell Divers for the sake of testing my stream with a higher end game. So I was put, you know, did a bit of cyberpunk and a bit of hell divers. Oh yeah, but the thing is, is like in the the law of of, I mean, I'm not a big Warhammer Space Marine guy. Like I don't know much, but my general impression of the of the law is basically space Nazis and imperialism killing everybody else. So how can you be woke and be space Nazis at the same time, or whatever the fuck? I mean, I'm probably just broad stroking it. There's probably more to it than that, but... From what little exposure I've had of, of Warhammer... ...law... Like, you can, it, it, I, I don't think you can make it woke. It's like having a black Ku Klux Klan member. Or heterosexual Frenchman. But if, yeah, if, if people are going out and saying, yeah, none of this... If, like... It's, it's kind of sad that, like... You know... Go, Going out on social media and saying, yeah, we ain't doing woke shit is, is something that has to be applaud, applauded. It's kind of a kind of damning. It's like the PlayStation uh, state of play announcement. I can't, I'm forgetting what game it is. Oh, it was, it was Lego Fortnite. They announced, like, on, for, they had a fucking set trailer for Lego Fortnite and saying, coming soon, split screen. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that. Why is that something that needs to be announced? That's something that should be come, that should come come with all games by default, right? Right, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like now, you, now, like you can't. Even like playing Halo split screen with my with my friend like was a great part of the uh, late and early late two thousands early twenty tens. Can't do that in Halo five or six. Not that anybody in their right mind would want to play that piece of shit. Gotta buy a second. It's like playing like. Doom on PS1 again, where you can only do co-op with two PlayStations. We're going backwards, not forwards. You take out features and then announce it like like it's a special, a special edition and a luxury, not not a, not not a standard that we used to have. And they they announce it with a big smile on their face, with no fucking shame and no no hint of irony. It's like, hey guys, we've got this new feature. It's called local co-op. We basically split the screen in half, and you can see two perspectives, and each and you have a second controller. He has no reason to keep Dante alive. So yeah, you can play with your friends. You don't need a second controller just to be a spare in case you throw the first one across the room in anger from our shitty game, modern games. Oh, 
That's triple S. two TVs to play together. Yeah, you basically have to like use uh, two plasma screen TVs, mount them to the wall above each other and just play with two PlayStations. If we have the Devil Sword Sparta, Nero might just be able to defeat... You know, the sad thing is, is I would have wanted to buy a PS5 Pro like within a few years of now. Just so, like, we have two PlayStations, PS5s in the house. I've got a PS4 Pro underneath my desk. Which, by the way, I had the PS4 original, and then I upgraded to a PS4 Pro. And that was actually worth it, because I had, like... I was playing, like, Destiny 2, and the frame rate would constantly tank. And the console would sound like a hairdryer, so... Upgrading to a PS4 Pro was a genuine, genuinely good, good purchase. But... I don't know, PS5? I don't know. God, I hate these enemies. Or maybe, uh... This is your Yeah, it was like the uh, the public event on Titan. Every time that would go, it would like it hit 10 FPS. But yeah, the PS4 Pro was a good purchase. Um, PS5 Pro, not so much. I mean, first of all, does it come with a disk drive? Which, you know, for my household, uh, important. We have, we still have like the, we still buy games physically because if games are shit, we, you know, the option to sell them, trade them in is is there. You know, if you. You buy a digital game and it's shit. You're, you're stuck with it. Uh, but yeah, the idea was like I would have liked to buy a PS5 Pro in like a few years from now because I can see like the same thing I had with the PS4 happening with the PS5. Also, I want to stream PS5 games at some point. I mean, there's Demon Souls. I mean, I could do remote play. Maybe could give that a try. In fact, you have to you have to buy a disc drive separately to play the PS5. PS5 discs in a PS5 Pro is is just retarded, especially with the asking price of the console. Like it, it's just so out of fucking touch. You have an external PS3 drive? I, you can buy a PS3 for cheap. <laughs> Probably. I mean, if Sony pulled... If PS... If, I don't know, if Sony... What the fuck? If Sony pu pulled their head out of their ass of the backwards compatibility, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. Like, PS, PS5 and PS4... For, PS5s can pl run PS4 games.
impressive. Hey. I don't know. But yeah, you can't you can't play PS free free discs on a PS four or five, sadly. PS3, the PS3 is pretty funny because it's like you play, you can play PS1 discs, but not PS2 discs unless you have the original fat PS5 per PS3 from a long, long time ago. Oh, that's not too bad. Except for the fact that, uh, you know, your disk drive doesn't work. This but yeah, it plays PS2 discs. No doubt about oh, lovely. Whoa, this is some kind of ritual shindig, isn't it? You guys got the dance fever for Sparta, don't you? What? Whoa, easy on the dance floor there, partner. I'll be taking that back. You know your endless worshipping isn't making the Sparta any happier. PS4? No, there's no, no, there's no way to play PS3 discs. Because if that was the case, I, all the digital all the digital games I bought for, for PS3 would would be playable on my PS4. Yeah. I have the uh, the second version of the PS3, I think. Not the weird slim that they released towards the end with the sliding door. Yeah, I want to stream PS5 games at some point. So, and with and you know maybe I will test remote play. I'll be like, I'll tell Kira, hey, listen, I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna stream stream a PS5 game, but I'm gonna play it from my PS4. Which is a fucking which you know you can control, you can play the PS4 five through your PS4 with remote play. So through the Wi-Fi. So. I'll be streaming through and playing through the internet. It seems this sword is still too strong for me. So close, though. So close. You got a lot of heart, kids. You really do. But you're a bit of a sissy in the strength department. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. No offense, son. You know. That kid Nero. He has the strength. It speaks.
sword Sparta was concealing Dante's presence. How does one freaking guy have so much luck, huh? Ah, uh, V? No, 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 no. Get a grip on yourself now. Come on. If only you could defeat yours in. If only. No. V? No, no, no. If only you never existed. Then I. Don't do it, V. No, no, no! no! Yeah. It's weird because, like, the PlayStation Classics store uh, catalog, PlayStation ca Classics catalog on, on, Sony, on, on the PlayStation store, that has some games that I bought on my PS3 that I, down, that I was able to download. But then there were also some games that they just re released as its own separate entity, like Tumby, for example. I, if I want to play that on the PS5, I have to download. I have to buy that separately now, even though I own it on PS3 and Vita. You know, and it's just a PS1 emulation. But I don't know, maybe they have trophy support for it, I don't know. Makes no sense to me. It's like, hey, buy something twice, thank you very much. You mustn't leave. I need to find Virgil. I promise I'll be back. I know this is hard. You must listen to me. Be a big boy. A man. Huh? If I don't return, you must run. By yourself. Alone. You must change your name. Forget your past and start a new life. As someone else. A new beginning. Virgil! Where are you, Virgil? Yeah, fat the pl oh, fucking Nintendo. Jesus Christ. <sighs> For a second there, I thought you were going to shish kebab me. I know how stubborn you can be. I thought it might be the only way to wake you. What day is it? The 15th of June. Uh, a month? <clears throat> no wonder I'm so stiff. Right, sunshine. Now put a fire under it. We gotta get going because that annoying pimple Nero is making a beeline for Urison, and if he gets there, he's gonna go oh, off! Hey. This is my gig. Leave Nero out of this. If you could defeat yours, in, then I never would have dreamed of using that child. But yours, in, is much stronger than we ever could have imagined. Stinks in here. I know. It smells like hot garbage. V is kind of, Yeah, that's why I keep calling him Adam Dr Adam Driver. There's no crime in turning tail, V. These things might be a little too much for you. You're right. I'll leave the rest to you. Yeah. And Nintendo had that problem with the digital store. Like if you like downloaded a load of dig games digitally to your 3DS. And then lost that 3DS or had it stolen. It was like, fuck you. New, new console, new downloads. We don't, we don't no give a shit special. about account tracking. Let's go clean up this garbage. At least if like if I if my computer blew up, I could just go get another computer and then download download them. Hurry up, Dante. Guess I get to see it with my own eyes. If it really is you. Okay, we're playing Dante now.
Customize. Okay, I don't have the ability to buy skills. It means I get to remain crap at the game. Okay, I'm going to save my money for when I get to the next set of skill men menu. Got guns. We've got ebony and ivory, a shotgun. Different swords, apparently. Oh, yeah, the uh, patent. Not so much a copyright breach, but a patent. You can quickly change your weapon at any time with the left trigger. And change long range weapons with the right trigger. You can also change weapon. Did that guy really do this? Well, no accounting for taste. Got the silly fists from uh Okay, so this is annoying as shit. Like uh, there must be something going on with the controls. Like it feels like every time I switch characters it's it's completely different fucking controls. Like why is Dan Melee Attack is Y, but it's X on 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 Nero, does it? Oh wait, no, it does say controls Dante. Why just let him be universal? It's fucking weird. Style actions, change style. Use any style with the B. Use Dante's style to perform different attacks. Trickster, style enhances movement in battle, gives you freedom in battle. Gunslinger, style geared towards long range combat, allowing you to think, okay. Swordmaster is geared around custom range sword player. Raw guard. Towards defense, turn the tables against powerful, powerful counter attacks. Kind of consumes tri trigger gauge. What? Fuck it, ah. Okay, and the auto mode is actually just making me switch through through shit as well. Just watching us on from the other side there. Strange. Yeah, I'm honestly like they, they, they showed the Pal World like trailer at at State of Play and it was like Pal World PlayStation out now. And it's like, oh wow, they wow. They're like, oh, we're going to get sued by uh, by Nintendo. Well, fuck it. Ain't going to stop us from releasing the game. If anything, selling the game on PlayStation might fund, like, help them fund their legal battles. Because win or lose, they're going to have. They're going to lose a lot of fucking money just from lawyering up. You know. I like how these girls are fucking running away. They're supposed to be helping me, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
shameful. Fucking hell, this guy, this guy takes way too many fucking hits. Just a fucking bat. There we go. Make a fuckload of money. Yeah, I did. But it was also free on Game Pass, so... Or at least Windows Game Pass. Pass, so... Could have, maybe. <clears throat> yeah. Well, look, think about Carl Jobs and uh, Billy Mitchell with that whole legal case. It's just like, you know, Carl Jobs is just a fucking YouTuber. Billy Mitchell is just trying to sue him, drain him of all his assets because he's like, oh, this guy t called me a cheater on YouTube. Wow, this guy literally fucking took a week to wind up. I was trying to like sidestep him, but you just fucking... I gotta do the spinner Rooney. Character assassination? Well, not really, because it was proven that he cheated. But he wants to fucking hang on, hold on to this stupid like world record of Donkey Kong or whatever. Not only that, like he he remember he sued like Cartoon Network and the the creators of Regular Show because of a character that looks like. Him. They thought they were making fun of him. Which they probably were, to be honest. Oh, God, these fucking clowns. Guys, they're, they're the worst enemy in the game. Yeah, guy's super insecure. She's like some fifty-year-old guy who wears like a suit and a USA tie necktie. Who wants to be known as the king of video games because he got a high score on, Don on a, some version of Donkey Kong, which people now f say, oh, he, he cheated at it to get his high score. I don't know. My advice is just go on YouTube and look up, watch these videos yourself. So Cal Jobs, it's like this pasty white bleach blonde Australian guy talking about in fact he's done it's not just billy mitchell he's done he's done a few good videos on like speed speed runs that were cheated like you know people who cheated at speed runs and stuff like that and some vi cool videos on like just spe speed running in general yeah but like like i say people sometimes people don't even sue just to, to make to win stuff they sometimes sue just to drain people of their assets because they have to like f pay f to fight the, to you know to ha lawyer up fuck it I'm not 
if I'm not taking that. God damn it. How about actually hitting shit? This guy's got... Tr the trickster doesn't even add much mobility, does it? No, no. I hate... I yeah, I hate playing as Dante. It's just as terrible as it was in Devil May Cry 4. No gimmicky grabs, no... And no uh, summoning. It's just... That looks a bit buggy. Uh, the fuck? Why did that? Why did that not play? Up oh, there we are. That was fucking delayed as hell. Insidious or benign? There's an X by. Leave it to an American to complicate and build a set of laws around it, even if it is an Australian this time. Well, I guess I guess maybe because it's on the internet, it's like international. I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> like if I want to sue someone from a different country, I don't know how that would work. You know, whose laws are you playing by? You know, the the offenders are the are the offendees. Defendant. Offendant or defendant. You know, which laws are we following? Oh, is it a bit mix of both? Oh wow, this is gameplay. I can't even like hit them back whilst they're doing that. Man, this is this is gameplay. This is great gameplay. Having them do a long iframed long attack that I can't fucking Oh wait, I can block it. But I just like high risk of taking damage whilst they're doing it though. Okay, I seem to have I don't know, it seems kinda of random. You have international treaties that have it sorted out. Oh, okay. 
It just seems, it's just so immature. Like suing people for defamation and stuff, even though it's 100% true. I mean, that's, I guess that's a defense. It's not, it's not defamation if it's true. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh my god, it's one of them red things from... Red... Flying things from Prey. <laughs> Hellbat. I guess, I remember now, the shotgun is what's supposed to, like, ground flying enemies. And that blows up, but, you know, the game was making me aim at it, like it was the only thing in the fucking arena when it wasn't, so... What the hell? Oh, right, it's one of them. Maybe maybe Dante will improve if I once I uh, unlock some more of his skills. I mean, V was pretty terrible on that first level, but as soon as I unlocked some of his skills, it actually became kind of fun. something here. Call it Hunter's Intuition. Wait, is it not? I thought I thought I was exploring a side path. And back here again. Shit, this place is confusing. Okay, so that was a weird waste of time. Unless I was supposed to find some... Unless there was something back up that way. I can't go that way anymore. I must have missed something. Or should have, or maybe I should have done, done something at that glowing light. Platforming. Wow, complete with a very shitty. Come on, use your hands, grab. Where am I supposed to go? I'm. I clearly can't jump this fucking high. I hate, I hate these kind of platforms because they're like, the camera angle just fucks you up completely. Zero. 
Well, there's like one particular area in, in Devil May Cry 4 where the camera is, is and depth perception is just atrocious. So it makes like the jump 10 times harder. Yeah, I'm not going back for that gold thing. Yeah, getting close. I can feel them. I need the double jump and stuff on lots for this guy. Come on, spin a Rooney. Play a second before, get the Eddie God or shit that going. Adds variety to the gameplay, doesn't it? These these skills. Okay, I think I only get access to skills once I finish the level, though. Oh no, I do have abilities now. I, they won't let me buy any at the start of the level. Speed. Air hike. That's a double jump. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. have one attack for uh, Stinger, Jesus. Not oh, tricks to style level. Well, see what happens. Probably fighting a boss immediately after this, anyway, aren't we? It's Dante's turn to lose to uh, old Urson, whatever his name is. Big fucking anime oh, yeah. face. I'm feeling it. Stench and filth. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those are yeah, two of the most the... badass women in the world. And I only know one other guy who can defeat them. Jackpot. Dante. <laughs> yeah, well, this is probably the worst part of the game to actually. I mean, he's, he, we know he gets his ass kicked, so I don't know why I'm bothering fighting this set, this part. I'm on fire. 
It's already over. I didn't even, I didn't even like, lose all my health. So anime. Yeah. But this is like, this happens, this takes place before the prologue. So we already know what's happening. Look, there's me playing the prologue. Oh, there's me. There's Nero during the prologue part. menu. I did say I would do I would do two more levels. Gallery. Nico's reports. Character reports. Dante. Some attractive looking things here, isn't there? It's all like law stuff, right? Devil trigger, huh? Well, I think Devil Trigger might win. No, we don't. What do we do? Why is this stuff locked? Change the battle. In-game battle music does not affect boss battles in certain cutscenes. All right, so we can just change all cuts, all the uh, fight, fight music to uh, to to Nero's. Oh shit, this has got sound, this has got like music from previous games, DMC. Sounds like trivia. Get our De Devil May Cry 4 on. Virgil combat music. Yeah, there we go. I notice there's no DMC Devil May Cry reboot. Here either. Stylish rank. Oh, you can change the stylish voice. Off. Oh, there's only one option to, to change. 
I am the storm that is approaching. I think that might have replaced the, the rules of nature, like Metal Gear Rising music. All right. We've been going on long enough. I've been streaming for four and a half hours. So we'll call it a night. I think Friday night I'm going to be doing some... Resident Evil 3 Nemesis that just dropped on GOG, so I'll be playing that on Friday, same time. Uh, 24 hour stream when? Uh, no idea. N7 day, haha. <laughs> Bring back Pario karaoke. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I like to. I think karaoke is better when it's sporadic, like when I just start randomly singing shit, you know? Or maybe a drinking stream. I don't know why I'll do 24 hours again, if at all. Um. So yeah, Friday we'll do Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Play that GOG. And then probably continue this on Sunday. I'm not sure how many missions we have actually. Does the game tell us or does it just scroll to the bottom? I don't know. Man, I should play this game with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> it only shows us how. F it only shows us. Uh... Wait, maybe I should open open up with that next time. Naked. 25 minutes of a 24 hour stream. I could believe that. But you've already been here for a few hours, so. What's that, sir? So, yeah, I'll, I'll continue Devil May Cry 5 on Sunday. We're back. To, break's over. Back to the normal scheduled stream content. Haha. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys later.